What is going on, football fans out there? And today, we're going to talk about an elephant that is definitely in the room. And that would be the non-announcement of EA's college football being on the PC. Now, I'm not claiming to know whether it is or whether it is not being on the PC, but I find it highly questionable. At this point in the game, we've got no concrete announcement. And at this point, we are probably a little bit, maybe over or less than a month away from the big reveal, yet we have heard nothing. And I think there would be nothing more terrible for EA than to wait until at the last second to let their entire PC fan base. And yeah, I know there's a lot of you out there that are just going to say, well, there's no sales on the uh, PC, but I will rebut that with there are sales on the PC. There's a lot of people that that is their preferred gaming system. So I say that to say this, how many PC gamers out there are going to go and drop 250 to $500 on a new system just to play one game? I think that that equals a lot of lost sales for EA. We're in the digital age. It's not like people go to the store to buy their hard copy of a game. A sale's a sale. And I understand that they might be a little bit scared of what the modding community might do. But I think you gotta kind of wash that to the side. I don't know what the legalities are behind it, but I think that that would be a ridiculous bad move for EA, but on the other side of that, I know a game that's coming out that would 100% benefit from that decision by EA. And that game would be Maximum Football. Because at that point, you would have to think about it, Maximum Football would be the only college football game on PC. And that's where PC gamers would have to get their college football fix outside of the modding community getting hold of the latest version of Madden or Madden 24 and turning it into a college football game. So I think that EA has a lot of stuff to kind of weigh there, which way they want to go. But I think that maximum football will definitely be the beneficiary if EA decides to go this route. And I do find it a little bit troubling that they have not released any information on whether it's going to be on the PC or not. What the shame in all of this is, is that these games are basically developed on the PC. And for EA to once again, just shun the entire PC market and try to go on as business as usual, they're gonna create that divide that already exists between PC gamers and console gamers. There are a few out there, well, more than a few that play on both the PC and the console, but let's be honest, a lot of people can't afford to do that. A lot of people prefer to game on their PC. But this is just a thought, and till next time, this has been Smoking Jay, and I will see you either in the ring or on the field.